Hi, welcome to the Hersey House. I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we're going to be talking about web forms inside of a portal app. So the different there's two different types of forms you can use inside of a portal app. You can either use an entity form, which comes from your actual form that you create inside of your table, and then there's a web form which still uses the a form version that you create. But essentially, you can create a step by step process inside of your portal for your end users. And we do that by creating tabs inside of that form. So let's take a look at make.powerapps.com and get started. So here we are at make.powerapps.com and I've created a portal application, but I currently do not have any forms um, inside of my portal app. So just clicking this to show you what it looks like. So here it is. Uh, if I go to this page, I created applications. I just have these two views. So that's all I've created inside of my portal app. So what I want to do first is I want to create a version, a form that I'm going to use for my web form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside of my solution where my table is located. It's my financial aid application table. And I'm going to create a new form that I'm going to use as my web form. So I'm going to go over to forms. I'm going to add form. And we're just going to add a main form. So I'm going to call this just so I know which one it is. We'll call this web form demo. And so notice I have form that it looks just like a form you would create for a model driven application. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an additional tab. So we got some tabs up here. And essentially inside of a portal app, Every tab you have in this form as creates a new page for the user to navigate to. So for this instance, when they start the application, they'll start to the general on the general page, and then the next page would be the signature page. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an additional tab to create a third step, and then we'll go inside and actually create this web form. So over on the left hand side, these are your components right here. So I'm going to choose a component. I'm going to choose a one column tab. So I'm going to put a tab in here. And so I'm going to, let's say, uh, let's call this tab the counselor tab. I'll have my students choose a counselor from this section. So I'm going to grab, and then I went to ABC. These are the columns inside of your table. And I'm going to choose the, my counselor one. And of course, you can apply this to whatever you're doing. But essentially, however many tabs you have are the different navigation screens. So as your user is going through the process of filling out this form, each tab is essentially uh, a new screen that they're going to hit next, and it's going to go to the next screen. All right, so I'm going to save this and publish it. All right, so now that I've published it, I'm going to click this back button right here. All right, and we can now see that I have my web form demo. So that is going to be the form that I reference inside of my portal. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, so from here, I'm going to go to apps. And there's two things we need to open. The first is this right here, your portal management app. So that's the first thing that you want to open. The second thing is on your actual portal itself. So you can see down here, here's my portal. You want to click the ellipsis and choose edit. I'm going to choose the ellipsis and edit. 
So that's going to open up this screen right here where your applicate where your portal is available. And then right here, this is the portal management app that it's going to open up. So like I said, there's two different types of forms. There's an entity form when an entity is a table. So this is essentially just pulling forms straight from uh, your your table, which is OK. You can use that. But the cool thing about a web form is that you can actually create steps and create this process or this flow and make it look dynamic. It's really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to web forms. And we're going to create a new web form. So I'm going to choose a name for this. Um, this financial aid web form. All right, and then the website you're going to choose is the portal. So the website is the portal. Now the steps will create in a second. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now that I click saved, I can now create the steps for this form. So I'm going to go right next to general. There's web form steps. And I'm going to click new web form step over here on the right. So we're essentially going to create the steps from our form, which remember each step is going to be from a tab that we created in that form. So I'm going to call this. I'm going to I like to put a nomenclature in here. Uh, so that I know what step this is. So I'm going to call this, um, let's call this step three. I like to start in the back and you'll see why, because um, the next step is going to reference um, what you should do after that. So if I create number one first, then I'm not going to be able to choose what the next step is. So if I create step three and then I create step two, in step two, it's going to say, what's the next step? And then I can choose step three. So it, it's kind of working backwards a little bit. So we're going to call this our signature step. All right. And then we're going to choose, instead of load form, we're going to load tab. So those are going to load the tabs that we created in that form. So then we're going to choose our entity, which is our table. It's going to be my financial financial aid application. There we go. And so now I've created this step, the signature. It's going to load the tab from this, from my financial aid application that we created just a second ago. So I'm going to click save. Now, Inside of each step, there's what's known as metadata, and you can get to that by this related option right here. Metadata is essentially um, the behind the scenes actions of what you want your portal to do. So if I go to related and go to metadata, I can actually create a new metadata step, and I'll show you that now. So I'm going to go new web form metadata. So this essentially allows you to control aspects of your form. So I can choose a control style. So for that, I can choose some. I can choose multiple choice. There's a lot of options in here for controls. Additionally, I can also pre-populate fields and I can also set the value on save. So there's a the metadata is really the behind the scenes, like what do you want going on? So I could say, hey, in this in this uh, signature step, I want you to use the current portal user. I want to pre-populate that field. I don't want them to actually type in their name. I just want to put the current portal user in that spot. You have that ability. All of that is within the web form metadata. OK, so I'm actually not going to uh, use this right now. I just wanted to show you that. So that's how you make, uh, that's how you pre-populate fields. That's how you set values. That's all done inside of that metadata inside of the step. So I'm actually going to go back now. 
So I now have my step. And just a, a quick key here, if you click on the financial aid web form, it actually doesn't take you to that step. You actually have to click on the name itself right here in order to go back into that actual step. So just, just let you know that because it does happen. So here's my financial aid web form. Let's add a couple more steps. So this one is gonna be now step two. And this was our counselor. And once again, we're going to load tab from our financial aid application. And what is our next step gonna be? So now we can look for our next step, which is our signature tab. So you see how it kind of works backwards if you start at the end and work the other way. So we'll go ahead and click save and close. And let's add our last step. This is gonna be our step one. And we'll call this general. For the third time, we're gonna load the tab and we're gonna choose our financial aid application. And our next step is now going to be step number two. Okay, so that's how you create the logical flow with this. I'm gonna click save and close. Inside of my steps, I need to choose the form. So I'm going to choose my web form demo. And then the tab name um, is gonna be created from the web form demo option. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna choose our, this is my other form, the portal form two. I'm gonna go into form definition under my first general step. I'm gonna choose, I'm use my portal form two. I'm use my general tab, it's set up the same way. I'm gonna click save and close. I'm gonna do the same thing for step two. I'm gonna go in here, web form steps. Step two, I'm gonna go into the form definition. I'm gonna choose my form and my tab. This is the counselor tab. Save and close. And then go into step three, form definition. My form, the step, and save and close. So now that I've done that, my financial aid web form is now linked to the specific form and the tab that I want it to. So now, so on the left hand side, we're going to add a one column section. You're going to click into that section, and then at the very bottom is the source code editor, right down here. So we're going to click that. You're going to scroll all the way down until you see these two little marks right here. Okay, so that's where we're going to put our code. So let me use a different zoom feature. There we go. All right, so it is a curly brace, a percent symbol. We're going to type in web form name, colon, single tick mark. Put the name financial aid web form and close with a single tick mark and a percent symbol and a curly brace. So now that I've put that in, it will now link my web form into my portal. So I'm gonna click save. And we're gonna go ahead and browse the website. And you'll notice when this browses, my application now starts to show up. So I have my student, housing required, no or yes, and then my district. I can go on, this is a required step, so I'll just select me for now. 
select the district. I'll say district one. I'll click next. Remember my tab. So the next tab is going to be my counselor. Notice it's counselor right here. So I can now create, I can choose the counselor within this section. And then I'm going to use that next. See these buttons popping up down here? So those are your different steps. So we can click next. And there's my signature. And then finally, we can submit it into the record. So submit. And it'll put my application in there. So I know this was a little bit long of a video. Thank you for staying with me, but it is something that is starting to come up a lot people are asking for portals people are asking how do we create items inside of portal i just wanted to do this video on how to create a web form hope this helps see you next time